Once you've drilled all the holes, we're just going to get rid of the burrs. So uh, if you put it in the vise, just take a file and just get it like this and just draw a file it over the edge like that, over the top. Should make it nice and smooth. I mean, you can check actually using a rivet whether it goes through or not, and you can see that's going to go through fine. And uh, here's the second vicious. Pull the protective film off if you want now. And again, check the rivet. So we're just going to rivet one side together and then take it over to the machine and drill the next hole. So obviously the tail fin has got to be in the centre of the tail wing so it's pretty much common sense which side it's got to go. Obviously that side is in the middle. If you turn it over the off centred holes there will line up with that and you'll be able to rivet that together. So uh, we'll take a, take a rivet, put it into the rivet gun. like that, and go through that hole first of all, which is quite fiddly to do, so and then through that hole like that, and then you've done riveting before, gently squeeze the two handles together like that, once you squeeze it a little bit, obviously put it in the vise when you do it, don't hold it up like this, I'm just trying to do this just so you can see what's happening, you can see the rivets gently getting squashed together. Once you've done it once, uh, I think you probably need to do it two or three times for it to snap off. You can see the rivet getting bigger and getting squashed and dragged through, and then hopefully it will snap off. If it doesn't fall off, don't worry about it. We can always just cut it off in a few moments. Then. Try and, you should be able to move it until it lines up with the center punched hole that we've done already. Now we're going to go over to the drill now and drill the second hole. So 